check out what I just got in the mail. This is the blank, unprinted, mock-up version of the Dragon Town and the Darkness Below box set. I just got it from the manufacturer. I want to bust it open and show you all the goodies inside. Okay, if you're not familiar with Dragon Town and the Darkness Below, it's my new 200-page system-neutral tabletop role-playing game adventure. It's all about visiting Dragon Town, figuring out what's going on with the, the missing gold dragon mayor, and then that will lead players on a, a crazy adventure through the underground to face off against the darkness below. It's on Kickstarter right now because I am funding the printing of this book and also this special edition box set, this huge chonkin' box. You know, this is just the mock-up, there's no printing on it, but it's everything that you will need to bring this adventure to your gaming table. So if you plan to play in person, definitely check out the box set. So even though this is just a blank mock-up from the manufacturer, I thought it would be fun to open it up and show you everything on the inside. Now, colors are not accurate yet, so there's some things like the, the cloth binding that might get a little bit of color change, you know, not, not quite exactly, but still it feels super nice, super sturdy, we got the bookmark. The bookmark's gonna be gold or or like yellow like the gold dragon. I mean, it's all blank, but it's super nice. It's got the Smithstone binding, so it can just lay flat open. It's amazing, it's awesome, it's perfect for the table. I'm, I'm so psyched on how this book is gonna turn out. Then we have the, there's gonna be 10, I mean, it's actually 20, but 10, foldable player facing maps. So these are 11 by 17, you know, they'll be double sided. So all of the, the maps in the Dragon Town book will be printed as big maps that you can throw down on the table. So stuff like the, the map of Malamir Valley, you know, so when the, the players are approaching Dragon Town or exploring around Dragon Town, the, they'll have the map. Or there's, um, there's also the like entire campaign map that shows the, the adventure through all 12 chapters. Or the uh, player facing version of the Alley Cat's hideout. So in this map, in, inside the book, there's a, a secret room. This is missing all of the like labels of the, the hideout are missing. So you can just throw the map down and let them explore as they will. There's gonna be 10 maps front and back. So a big, big stack of these, these maps. There's also going to be a few stretch goal postcards that will come with this little, this little belly band, I guess. Um, but just front and back postcards. As of right now, we've unlocked the first three. There's, there could be more to come, but there's gonna be a, a netherhold vault a lunar tower, the, the town of Barrowmere that's kind of like down the road from Dragon Town on the way to the Troll Bog. They'll all, all come in the box, and, and actually, even if you don't get the box set and just the, just the book, you'll, you'll still get these postcards too. Then we have the GM screen. So this got upgraded. Check out, it's gonna be this nice, awesome, thick, paper over wrapped cardboard GM screen. Super cool. I mean, it's funny it looks blank right now, you know, and, and basic, but it's going to have nice colorful artwork and then uh, some helpful information, some names, some extra quests, the Magic Apple properties, all on the inside. It's, it's all the same size, you know, it's the same size as the book and the maps and the postcards so all fits in to the box together. And then we have a few other goodies inside. There's this this tray that keeps the other other goodies from rolling around too much. There is the burlap sack dice bag, which this will have a printed um, dragon emblem with, you know, it's like the gold dragon is holding uh, an apple and the, the color of this bag is not quite right. And then you'll have the red dice set. Again, the colors aren't totally accurate. So these are just mock-ups, but um, you know, the set of of polyhedral dice, magic apple dice. These are just mock-ups of the, the two coins, just to kind of show the, the technique. These are actually uh, 
Pathfinder role-playing game for Savage World. <laughs> I think they just sent them because they they have dragons on them and the and the coins in the box set. One of them will have a dragon, the dragon head and the tail. So you can use it as like a, an actual coin to flip or like a D2. And then the other one will have a void spawn and the star heart on the back. One will be gold, one will be silver. So they'll, they'll kind of be a little bit different than these, these coins. But, you know, same kind of idea. And then there are the magic item cards. So we haven't unlocked the, the tuck box for the magic item cards yet, but we're getting close. So that's that's the next stretch goal. And yeah, then it's going to be this big fat stack of 52 magic item cards. Obviously blank again. Um, the cool thing about these is on one side, they have the nice like coating. So there'll be the dragon on the treasure chest artwork on one side and then the magic item illustration with its effect on the other side. And there's going to be, I think, eight blank ones and you can write directly on the cards so even some of the cards you know might have magic items with usages you can write right on there and erase with your pencil i'm super psyched on how this deck of cards is gonna gonna look the tray in here will actually be printed and there might even be like a little hidden surprise thing i don't know we'll, we'll see but this tray is going to be printed and i think the cool thing is if you get some of the i guess i've had a few people ask about uh extra zine storage and i think i think my solution how this is going to go is you can remove the tray and you know if you keep the magic item cards like stored outside of the box you can fit the book and here let me grab some zines so you can fit the book and the the gm screen and a bunch of zines right in the box all together so your your add-on zines can can be stored in the box as well so I know visually this video isn't the most interesting, but I'm just so excited about this box set. It's been a dream of mine to make a box set and it's cool to like get the, the printer samples and everything and like, you know, see, okay, the color needs to be changed a little bit here. And even just seeing like how big this thing is, I mean, this is a, this is a big, big box set and I can't wait to to have all this stuff actually printed and, you know, met the goal on the Kickstarter. So this thing is getting made. Just so, so exciting. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And, you know, check out the Dragon Town Kickstarter. See ya!